Hi, everyone. Tonya Reeves, Australia's Psychic Cowgirl, coming at you from Bright in country Victoria. So we've got a few days of uh, R&R, so I thought I would take a, a shot with the RV uh, in the background or motorhome as we call them here in Australia and, yeah, include that in the picture. I've got some beautiful trees there. I'm not sure whether you guys can see them or not, but still got a bit of green around, which is pretty cool. So this week I hope you've all had a great week. Uh, for me, it's, yeah, been really full on. Uh, I can't believe how fast this time of year goes. We get so busy and the weeks just tend to fly by. So I suppose uh, part of the conversation that I thought I'd have today prior to doing readings is to remind you to be grounded and doing things that keep you, uh, I suppose, peaceful and connecting into that inner peace. Uh, however, you may, you know, find that just spending time to sit and be quiet and relax. And I know I'm doing that this weekend and it'll mean disconnecting from, uh, you know, the outside world and just just actually being. So I think we all need that little reminder sometimes to be in the moment. And I know I do because I get really caught up in responding to people and I think, oh, you know, you hate to keep people waiting and I think that's part of human nature and we're in such a, a busy momentum at the moment where that instant um, replies and instant uh, response is really expected. So sometimes we've just got to say, you know what, we all have a life and we have other things that we can do. So uh, let me see, with Connection to Spirit, I had a lovely lady contact me about, um, you know, she'd actually had connection through her dreams and it was really an interesting one because quite often you'll find with spirit that they will come to you in your dreams and sometimes you remember them and sometimes you don't and that's why you often hear people relate back to writing down what it is you've picked up uh, through your sleeping moments. If you remember it at the next morning, you know, sometimes I don't remember it straight away but in a couple of days it then comes back to me. So it's really great. Uh, to remember to write it down and you will find that it, to a degree it fits in somewhere. Sometimes often our dreams don't make sense but there can be messages within them. It's a bit like when animals are around. We had a couple of galahs that were half tame sort of come to the uh, to our house so it was really amazing to look up the meaning of that and um, to be able to see that you know one of the big the big signs um, a Friend Scott Alexander King does the the animal kingdom cards and dreaming, and so we were able to look up the meaning of the birds. And I encourage everyone to to do that. You know, if you're seeing uh, random birds or animals of any type that you don't normally see in your environment, look up the spiritual meaning because quite often they're the messengers. And animals are pretty amazing uh, at, at giving us giving us direct or indirect messages. But when we go back to the, when we go back to the rem- remembering to that nothing is a coincidence, we then relate to those messages and feel quite, uh, you know, quite at peace with it. So it's something that I like to to remind everyone because when you're going through grief and loss of a loved one, whether it's family or friends or animals, you know, it's a really hard time and we do get a bit lost. So I say, you know, use your your intuition, use that sixth sense to connect with them because you certainly can. It's not just privy to us mediums and psychics to be able to connect to those that have passed over. You guys can do it too. So don't feel like you have to, you know, meditate your life away to to get that connection. But, you know, it's just about trusting the guidance that you get. So always know that you have that power within you. And we can all draw on that at any time, especially when we're going through a really uh, struggle, you know, with the loss of somebody or, or like I said, a pet, no, no matter what it is, somebody, some animal, anything, you know, um, just know that they're around and they will do their best to connect with you. So be open to the signs, okay? So that's my message this week. Be open to the signs. Get out in nature. Get out where you're away from the distractions of everyday life and, you know, really set that, set that intention that you're going to connect uh, with that special person. 
Uh, let me, you know, and give me feedback on that. I love it. Uh, I really appreciate you guys messaging me. Um, Australia Psychic Cowgirl on Facebook. You can also go to my website, which is psychiccowgirl.com.au. Okay, I've got my first caller, Bridget, in Painted Post, New York. Bridget, how are you? Hi, good. That's good. What's happening in your side Uh, of the world? Oh, not too much. I was just wanting to see if I had a message from my guides about what's coming and if I could connect to a past family member. Yep. Okay. So we're looking at a bit of, in that way, we're looking at some mediumship. So um, do you have the male that's in spirit around you? Is that your father that's passed? Oh, no, he's saying no. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, Okie dokie. And you two had a special bond because I almost felt like he was coming through like a father. Did he play a father role for you when you were younger? Yes. Yeah, because it's like he really felt he felt fatherly, and as I was saying, father is like no, I'm like okay, <laughs> but I feel like you would your connection with him was like father. So um, he looked after you, he looked out for you, and it was almost like when he passed, you had that. It was a really massive void. Um, I mean, we all have a void when we lose somebody, but for you, it was a big chunk of um, you know your life that that suddenly that um, you know that that bond that you had was in the physical world was you know whipped away. And was he? Did he pass? Like, because I'm feeling like I want to go to around heart areas. Did he pass quickly? Um, kind of, yeah, a couple of weeks, yeah. Yeah. And was that around the heart? Was there something like that was weakened around this area? Because I want to go like heart or lungs because I'm uh, feeling heavy. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's a little bit lower. All right. Um, and with him passing, um, when I say suddenly, was it unexpected? I know obviously with you saying pancreas, it would have been an illness, but was there an element of it being uh, like uh, when he passed wasn't expected? Yeah, I didn't know he was sick, and so I didn't know. I didn't know till he was sick until I found out he was going to die. Soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's because it's like that element of you didn't get to say goodbye. You didn't get to have your final chat to him. Now, um, in reference to at the moment now, he's showing me that he does come in around you and you feel him. And I want to say it's almost like I, don't, I feel like I want to, I want to, somebody's tugging at my hair. Or, you know, my hair's standing on end, especially more towards the back of my head. Can you relate to that? Um, my ears get warm. Okay, that yeah, because it's like he steps in, but, yeah, I, I'm getting sort of around here rather than, you know, not necessarily shoulder or, you know, anywhere else in the body. So it's like he's showing me that he does step in and he does give you guidance, but he's laughing because he says you don't always listen. So has there been things that have come up for you or you've had signs and you've gone, oh, no, and you've gone to take another road and then realised, oh, I should have listened to my instinct? Because it's like he's telling me I show her, but there's a little bit of frustration because you don't always take on board or follow the signs. Yeah, well, I'll see signs or think I should do something. I'm like, no, I'm crazy. That's yeah, yeah. So it's like he's, because yeah, well, and and this is where exactly like you were first asking about connecting with your guides and and you know obviously your grandfather is they're always around giving you signs, but it's like for you you you're second guessing it. So it's almost like to strengthen that that um, connection, you need to start listening to what they're bringing through. And even if you sit in doubt with a sign, you know, I say to people, sometimes just write down, okay, I've got a sign to do this. Write it down. That way it's something you can come back to when you're in a clearer moment because sometimes we do get a bit like, oh, that doesn't make sense or we start to overthink things, which is quite normal in our human existence we tend to you know read into things or make it more complicated than it needs to be and it's like he's a pretty he's a pretty straightforward guy your grandfather and he's pretty simple with stuff so it's not like he's giving you massive amounts of info that you need to decipher it's almost like I want to say with him he was a sort to go do this this and this and these are the steps and it's quite clear yeah that's exactly it 
because <laughs> it's like he's, he's telling me, bang, 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 you know, and when I connect with an energy like that, that's, they come through with that essence of them and that's, that's quite him is he's very much and he's just giving me things like do, 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 not, he's not elaborating. So he wasn't one to elaborate on things. It's mean what you, uh, say what you mean and mean what you say. I want to, I want to relate in, in, in his energy, which is fantastic because you will get what he's giving you. Yeah. Now there was also there was also something around you, and it's funny um, when you first came on. I, I felt like I wanted to say the energy of a birth or like a child, but I didn't necessarily feel that it was. I felt like that was a um, a sign of you giving birth to something, as in something new. That's that you're looking at. Um, I feel like I want to say maybe in, in your career path even, there's something new that's coming forward that's going to be birthed, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah. So it's about honouring the steps for that. And I feel like because it's almost like for you, they're showing me you'll take five steps forward and then two back. And when you take those steps back, that's when you're getting into doubt and you're going, oh, it's not going to work or how can I do this, blah, 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 blah. Whereas the, the, the message from spirit is it's a green light. So it's ready to roll. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> That's okay, good so I, I want to say take the handbrake off because it's really only okay. you that's stopping you stepping into this. It's like they're showing me your confidence, you know, just being confident to um, uh, to step into your power and, and we all go through that. It's almost like sometimes we have to jump and then, you know, um, make up the rest. But I feel like for you, just step into it. It will take off. Uh, you won't look back. It's just your self-doubt you're sitting in at the moment that's holding you back because it's the birthing indication is new. It's exciting. It's, uh, you know, it's something that you've given a lot of thought to if you look back over it. So there's a lot of groundwork already done and this is about the birth of it actually taking off. Well, that is good to know. I know. It's exciting. So, you know, I want to – and often when I do connect for people with readings and I'm like, I'm getting excited because the more you connect with that energy, the more things will fall into place and you'll be able to see those signs and go, yeah, I can do this. You know, this is easy because it will be easy. So don't – I feel like in your head you've, you've got this thing where you're thinking, oh, it's going to be complicated, but it's not. You're well supported and it's time to step into it. So don't doubt. Yeah, well, because what it is is I'm trying really hard to connect with my spiritual side, so that's what's new. Yeah. All of it is new to me, and I'm just so yeah. excited to get there that I don't want to wait to get there. <laughs> we all, we all, that's, I think that's one of our biggest human lessons is learning patience. But sometimes, you know, the more we try to get into something, the further we push it away. So just be in allowance and say, okay, guys, I'm going to offer up five minutes or 10 minutes of my time a day where I'm going to be sitting in a relaxed state where you can give me signs. Have your pen and paper there and just honour what comes through. It might take you a week before you start to get something that's actually you know, solid to write down in your connection, but they'll they'll work with you and they will show you. So don't feel that you have to be, you know, like I said earlier, you don't have to meditate for hours on end. We don't have to, um, you know, get up in our head around it. Just allow it to, to be and it will fall into place. But you're quite intuitive. So there's just, there's a with you, there's a little bit of an imbalance. So it's like you need to slow down to speed up, I have to say. <laughs> 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 so it's quite funny but you know we yeah. all we all relate to I that in a way like you know because things. yeah <laughs> patience is not my thing <laughs> but no no it's not who wants to be patient life's too short to be patient I'm like that I'm an Aries so I'm always impatient but you know there's sometimes we do have to just be in allowance so I would encourage you to do that and it will come to you because you are You've got that psychic side to you. So, you know, don't worry about it. Don't try and analyze it. Just allow it to happen and it will. Keep me posted. Give, shoot me a message on Facebook when, um, when it transpires because I know it will. Okay. Well, good. I'm excited. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. Get it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ask and you shall receive, Bridget, and all will be, all will fall into place as it needs to. So, again, one of my favourite sayings is trust the process. So sometimes we're just held back a little bit just to take that deep breath for us to then move forward. So trust that. Okay. Uh, one more question really quick. Do you, <laughs> yep. do you yep. see what, I don't want to say gifts, but what area would be my area to focus on? You know what I mean? You, yeah, you've got a lot of tools in your toolbox. It's like they're showing me there's a lot of elements to you and there's a lot of aspects. And I do want to say, don't feel you have to fall into line with others. You know, like other people do it a certain way or they say this is how it's done. For you, it's different. You process things differently. You sense your sense of um, uh, like you're, you've got a heightened sense of energy. So you're picking up on, on different things all the time, but there's also different aspects of that. So just trusting what you get and do not be, because like they're showing me, don't be feel like you have to be regimented and doing what everyone else is doing. It's time to step up and do it the way you feel comfortable doing it. Okay. Okay. All right. I must go on to my second caller before I run out of time. Thank you. And don't hesitate to shoot me a message if you like. Yay, go Bridget, love it. Okay, I've got Jackie in Stony Plain, Alberta, Canada. Woohoo, love Canada. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. Hi, Jackie, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. I met a Canadian over here in Australia the other day and I can't remember where I met her, but I was out somewhere and I noticed the accent and and I always get confused because I'm not right up with deciphering, you know, America versus Canada accent. So, but I'm always excited to hear, you know, it's it's less less common to find a Canadian over here than it is an American. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> So, Jackie, did you have a question for me or would you like me just to tune in around you? If you could, yeah, if you could just tune in to whatever you see around me. Yep, okay. Um, there is a lady stepping forward in spirit and I feel like there's a, a bit of sadness there. So I want to say um, it's like she immediately made me aware of her being around you. Do you connect to that energy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that would be like my mom. Wanna, uh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to say mum, but did she have another, what did you call her? I did, I, I did call her mum. Yeah, that was mum. Okay. Because I, yeah, wow. Something different around her. Normally I'll, I'll get mum straight away. I, I, I did feel the sadness. Okay. So it's like that, that, that separation. It's almost like the two of you had such a connection. I just felt like this. Um, overwhelming sadness that that she's not around to enjoy things around you, and it's like things have changed for you over the last few months, and you're really stepping into your personal power because it's like she's there going, "Oh, I wish I was there to support you." And even though she uh-huh. is in spirit, of course, it's like she's just she's just like, "I should be there." So there's all, there's that feeling from her, like I should be there with her. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Did she, um, like, did she pass with illness with something that was undiagnosed? Because I feel like there's an element where she's looking, well, she's showing me, I wish I had found out sooner. So does that make sense? No, she was actually sick for quite a while. She had a whole yep. lot of things going on. Yeah, but did she, was something not diagnosed? Like, I, I just felt like she's showing me maybe if something was picked up earlier, she would have had more time. Uh, maybe. I mean, she ended up... It's just like I feel like she's... Yeah, so it's almost like I just want to say like she's just acknowledging as if, oh, if I had have found it earlier than her, you know, the length of time that she's she she had here on this life, life plane, I call it, um, could have been longer. So it just there's just that, that was that element coming through. And I connect with the, um, with the breast cancer element. I have... Uh, my mum passed of breast cancer. My partner's um, 
previous wife passed of breast cancer as well. So I really connect with that that cancer energy. Yeah. And um, quite quite often the the breast cancer affects the most beautiful souls who are so selfless and giving to everyone else. And it's almost like they surpass their own life for others, I, I have to say. And I feel like that with your mum. It's like she's wanting to be there with you. You know, that's her main thing. Um, is there a girl around you as well? Because I feel like she's showing me. Do you have a daughter? Uh, alive, yes. Yeah, because it's like she's showing me she hangs out with your daughter as well. Is there two girls that you have? Because she, there's, so I'm going two. Well, she's telling me two, but there's to do with <laughs> girls, and it's like she hangs around her. It's it's complicated. I um, I had a daughter <laughs> when I was very young and gave her up for adoption. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's like she hangs around with her as well. Wow. I love that. So I don't know if you keep in, in contact with her, but it's like she would be aware of that. Yeah. Like it's like sometimes they pick up on the energy, but your mum's there. She's enjoying that. That's awesome. So, yeah. So going forward into what you're doing now, does that resonate with you, that things have stepped up for the last um, couple of months for you? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like I want to go... I want to go, whoa. So it's like you've, prior to that, you were sort of here for a while, I want to say, like a bit frustrated, and now it's like all systems go. Yes, absolutely. It's, yeah, yeah. It's everything awesome. is kind of opening up, and I'm seeing my path. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And it's like this is only the beginning. There's a lot more because it's like you, you're taking off, but there's still like, there's still so much more as you're going along that is going to be uncovered. So it's fascinating. <laughs> I hope so. And you're a good, because yeah, she's laughing, going, you're a good problem solver or there's something around your career that you do really well with given a challenge. It's like I want to say if there was a crime or if there was something that was unsolved, you could solve it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's oh. like she's showing me. So there's, there's something in that in investigation so there's an element of that that energy or what she's showing me is like something around investigation so I don't know exactly where that fits but it's like you would be good at that hmm see now I wouldn't have thought so, of that but yeah interesting so with this with this taking off isn't this is around your career as well yeah um I'm trying to start my own little business yeah Yep. And there's a spiritual element to that too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like, okay. I started so, making molars and, and doing Reiki and... Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So this is where the investigation fits in because I'm like going, there's got to be energy healing here. There's something. There's something whereby people that maybe ha- are not well and haven't been fully diagnosed with things that you will work on and help um, pinpoint things that have oh. been overlooked. So what I want to wow. what I want to say to you, what I want to say to you with this, and what your mum's showing me is, say if you're as you start step into this and you start doing your healing, there might be elements where you're picking up things and people are saying, "Oh no, 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 that's not what it is." I just want you to be mindful of it's like you're picking up on things that they need to know that will be relevant. So sometimes when you're starting out like that, you feel a bit like, why am I getting this? It doesn't make sense that then they don't know what I'm talking about. But for you, it's like you're going to dig a little deeper and, you know, it really tune into things that, that might go undiagnosed. And I want to say um, one of the ones that she's showing me is like autoimmune issues or things that are around that. So uh, I know sometimes because I um, deal a lot with thyroid, I've got an underactive thyroid myself and sometimes that's not picked up. So they can do a blood test and everyone it comes back as fine, but people often can present with the same symptoms. Okay. Okay. So just that's as like she's telling me that will be. So, yeah, I feel like that's going to be a bit of your superpower. You're going to be... And, and it's almost like, you know, and I know with, with Reiki and with healing, there's, yeah, as you go along, you're going to be shown so much. So it's like your your journey taking off will be in, you know, really 
spirit and, and you know, like obviously a mum because she's loving this, um, will bring the, the perfect people that you can work on. But there, there's that element of you going to open up those pathways where you're picking up people's illness with even I feel like you would just look at somebody and say I can see this this and this so it's like there's there's that element it's not just about you doing the treatment or the the you know working on the the as you're trained you will actually go beyond that to picking up bits and pieces and I'm not a Reiki expert so I, I don't fully um, know how that works but um, it's like for you you'll be intuitively getting guidance and especially having your mum around, it's like, yay, you couldn't get better guidance than that. <laughs> awesome. So then yeah. I, just need to, I, I just need to trust myself more. You do, you do. And don't. Okay. And I want to say with that, don't, don't worry about the nose. It's what something that we learn as... You know, if you're if you're working on somebody and you say I'm picking up, say for instance, um, I'm picking up that you've got an underactive thyroid in there, they're going no, 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 because I, I was tested for that and it it didn't show it in the you know the the Western way of picking things up, but then you start to delve in a bit deeper and say, okay, are you feeling tired all the time? Are you um, you know, sleeping and waking up tired still, you know, all those symptoms will be there, but it might not be logically, uh, you know, this is, this is, this is how it's been diagnosed. So it's that part of it. And that's a big part of this message I'm giving you is don't, don't think, oh, that's, you know, dis- don't disregard what you're getting. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So really trust it because you, you have been drawn to this for a reason and it is your sole purpose. So, you know, do what you love and the rest of it will just work into place. And that's where I feel like things are taking off because you've started to finally own that's, this is a part of you. So it's really important for that to, to blossom and it will. Perfect. Thank you so yep. much, Tanya. My pleasure. I have to go now or I'll be kicked off. So thank you so much <laughs> for connecting. Okay. <laughs> Loved you. it. Thanks, Jackie. Thank and you. your mum, your beautiful okay. mum. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys. I've got to wrap up now before I get kicked off. Thank you so much for connecting. Same time, same place next week. Woo!